Iris saw the mother and her son's an only child, heir apparent to his avaricious family line. Notorious around the land for feminine good looks, envy blinds him to his woes, this boy is far from fine. Ever since he was a child he's loved to play with dolls, dresses, skirts, and hair clips are the only things he'll wear. He's been known to steal cosmetics from his mother's room, secretly applying them with great artistic flair. The family don't need these habits in an ear. They ignore him, they can't bring themselves to care. He can't imagine any world he doesn't live this long. Disgusting man. Paris is a mother and her only child's a girl. It seems the malice gene is active in her DNA. Troubled by her violent urges aimed at those she loves, she sucks up her pride and speaks of that problem today. She asks her coworker who researches. To pay. Curled up in a ball, he is too terrified to move, staring at what remains of his once beloved doll, lifeless limbs warm to the touch from their body removed, stealing a glance at the mirror on his wall. What stares back isn't of the world he knows at all. The person standing there and offering a hand, she's just like him, but better. Child, 
But no one could deny these twins have never been apart. The older sister, advanced student of the human mind. The younger brother, who knows human bodies off by heart. The Arctraverse is through the endless sea of fading stars. In search of somewhere they can build their paradise anew. Maybe the impressive skill sets of these clever twins could one day be used to create humankind more tuned.